In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Kyrie eleison. You came to call sinners. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. We implore your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as the feast of our salvation draws ever closer, so we may press forward all the more eagerly towards the worthy celebration of the Paschal Mystery. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, this is what I commanded my people. Listen to my voice. Then I will be your God and you shall be my people. Walk in all the ways that I command you so that you may prosper. But they obeyed not, nor did they pay heed. They walked in the hardness of their evil hearts and turned their backs, not their faces to me. From the day that your fathers left the land of Egypt, even to this day, I have sent you untiringly all the servants, the prophets, yet they have not obeyed me nor paid heed. They have stiffened their necks and done worse than their fathers. When you speak all of these words to them, they will not listen to you either. When you call to them, they will not answer you. Say to them, this is the nation that does not listen to the voice of the Lord, its God, or take correction. Faithfulness has disappeared. The word itself is banished from their speech. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial psalm. If today you hear his voice, Harden not your hearts. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us sing joyfully, sing songs, songs to him. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come. Let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us, for he is our God, and we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. If today, if today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would hear his voice, harden your hearts as at Mirabah, as in the day of Massa in the desert, where your fathers tempted me, they tested me, though they had seen my works. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, for I am gracious and merciful. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord 
be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to Lord. Jesus was driving out a demon that was mute, and when the demon had gone, the mute man spoke, and the crowds were amazed. Some of them said, By the power of Beelzebub, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Others, to test him, asked him for a sign from heaven, but he knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste, and the house will fall against house. And if Satan is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that it is by Beelzebul that I drive out demons. If I then drive out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your own people drive them out? Therefore, they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man fully armed against, fully armed guards his palace, his possessions are safe. But when one stronger than he attacks and overcomes him, he takes away the armor on which he relied and distributes the spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. Good morning. It's interesting to me this gospel is in some ways complex and uh, the messages here uh, deserve looking at and studying. Uh, certainly reading it one time through I just didn't pick up on everything that that I felt like I should pick up on. The opponents of Christ, obviously, here were uh, they they were not stupid men, and they know that there are probably two things going on. Either he has these special, extraordinary powers uh, given to him by God. That allows him to drive out demons or he has uh, made some kind of bargain he's he's in league with demons in some sort of way and his opponents attack him by saying he does these things with the power of Beelzebub. this verbal attack gave them the leverage to discount, put doubt, certainly, upon the message that Christ was trying to spread. His message about the kingdom. And it was a means by which they used to attack his good name, his character. You know, and it reminded me of something did this thought cross your mind? It's like a media attack in modern politics. You sling mud, you know, one opponent will sling mud on the other, slur the person's name. It's all about damning, damaging the image and character of the opponent. And the, the message of the opponent then gets lost with the messenger. That's what's happening here with Christ. Or it's what they want to happen. It doesn't happen, but it's what they want to happen. Essentially, they're saying, if the messenger, Christ, is a scoundrel, how true can his message be? Christ replies in a simple way, showing the illogic of what they're saying. He says simply, if I was, you know, 
he doesn't say these words, but he says essentially, if I were buddying up with Satan, why would I be shooting Satan in the foot? Why would I be messing up his goals? Why would I be casting out demons when he wants them to be in people? So he pretty much quickly discounts that, that thought that his enemies are trying to promote. And his miracles are possible through God, through faith. He lets us know that. Belief, faith is not an optional weapon that we have against the, the devil. It's required armor. Christ tells us this as well. His enemies obviously lack faith. And the faithless simply cannot see God's intervention. In any set, any events, they want to give credit to something else, always. So it's a sad state of affairs. And this still exists, you know? This situation still exists today. People are unable to recognize the value of God's supernatural signs. You believe in coincidences? I don't think I do. And if I may draw a, a thought from this month's Magnificat, uh, Father John Toller, a, a German Dominican priest, uh, had something I thought that was so important to say about this gospel. That we are the person gifted with reason which Christ speaks of. <clears throat> He tells us reason makes us like the well-armed, strong man, fully armed. With reason, we have holy faith, the sacrament, God's holy word, the example of the saints and of all good people, as well as the prayers of the church and more. These are powerful weapons against Satan which we all have access to if we simply make use of them. And how do we do that? You know the answer. To resist Satan's temptations, all we need to do is have faith and invite God into our lives, to invite Christ into our lives. As the two who were walking to a mosque did. And if we step back and look at the big picture, there's, I think, a bigger message for us. Christ healed many people and performed many miracles. Um, driving out demons was one of the things he did. Someone said in, in the men's meeting this morning that. There were recorded 31 miracles, healings that Christ performed in the Gospels. And seven of them were related to casting out demons. So there were 24 that involved other kinds of healings. I had this odd thought that God heals 24 7. That's, that's just another odd line of thought that I had. The, the significant thing is that although he healed a lot of people and performed many miracles, this was 2,000 years ago. He did not reach the populations that people can reach today through media. Even through the media that's going by the wayside these days, newspapers and magazines and books. The techno age has made it possible for 
an individual to reach thousands, millions of people. In comparison, Christ actually touched a small handful. But the big picture is his long game, so to speak. God's plan for humanity. The big picture is all about salvation for all of us. That's pretty important stuff. It's about our eternal life, our opportunity to join with God in heaven. Here's a, and you know, God loves us so much. And for some reason, this thought kept popping up in my head, uh, a line from the book that we're studying on Wednesday nights. You know, that, you know, God's love for us just bubbled out. He created us because he thought we would enjoy it. That's a remarkable statement. He loved us so much that he created us so that we could enjoy life here and then with him for eternity. Armed, if we choose, with his love, with his arm. Can you think of a better reason why our beloved Mother Teresa would advise us to let nothing come between us and Jesus. The perfect advice. Peace be with you. <coughs> Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. For the whole Christian people, that in this sacred time they may be more abundantly nourished by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. For the whole world, that in lasting tranquility and peace our days may truly become the acceptable time of grace and salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. For sinners and the neglectful, that in this time of reconciliation, they may return to Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For ourselves, that God may at last stir up in our hearts aversion for our sins, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for Mary Ellen Moss, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And let us remember the victims and their families from the London terror attack. We pray the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with the prayer in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory, Glory be to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice for heaven. Otherwise, the glory of his name. Father, the name of the Holy Church. Clean 
that your people, Lord, we pray from every taint of wickedness, that their gifts may be pleasing to you, and do not let them cling to false joys, for you promise them the rewards of your truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor. And so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Sanctus, 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 Dominus Deus Sabato, Pleni Sonceni et Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in Excelsis, Benedictus Ui Veni in Nomine Domini. Hosanna in Excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the bond of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all of the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And give us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And give us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Grace us the grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all stress. We await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with you, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with you, Amen. Amen.
Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Our news today. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your salvation both in mystery and in the manner of our life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth glorifying the Lord. By your life. Yes. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, 
by the divine power, thrust into hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit that consoled her. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy, immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. 